KU 2 bits IC and today we have some really awesome next generation iPhone 7 rumors to discuss. First though, if you have yet to watch the videos found in my dedicated iPhone 7 playlist, I highly recommend doing that because some of what we're going to be talking about today essentially reaffirms and solidifies some of the details found in these past rumor and update videos. Again, I will have the playlist linked for you directly below. So let's go ahead and get straight into this. According to a new report from DigiTimes, Apple chip suppliers Cirrus Logic and analog devices are starting to book production capacity with their partners and production for the components as well as the device in general is expected to ramp up in quarter two and three of this year ahead of the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus's launch later this fall which will likely be September in alignment with past iPhone refreshes. Now analysts claim that Cirrus Logic will provide a stereo speaker assembly for the iPhone 7. So essentially what that means is that instead of this single or mono speaker that we have currently, we may actually have two drivers. So side by side on either side of the lightning port. And apparently the second speaker will actually take the place of what we have over here on the left hand side when we're looking at this from the bottom, the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack port, which as I mentioned previously, if you happen to watch some of my earlier iPhone 7 rumor videos, you'll know we've discussed the removal of the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack at length. Apple will switch over to a digital format so they will likely provide headphones that will connect via the lightning port instead and also provide a digital to analog lightning adapter for third-party wired headphones with that headphone jack. That does however leave some question as to where the microphone will be situated on the iPhone 7. Currently it is isolated nicely from the speaker. It may just be right next to it and when over phone calls it may switch to just using one speaker. So that would actually be the intelligent and smart thing to do especially if Apple is adopting a stereo speaker design. Now apparently analog devices is expected to provide the driver components for the iPhone 7 dual lens assembly that we've discussed previously which will be made possible thanks to Apple's 2015 acquisition of an Israeli camera technology company called Linx. So what that will mean essentially is that the iPhone 7 Plus will have a far superior camera over the current iPhones and even over its smaller counterpart when it's launched just being the iPhone 7. For all the benefits of a dual lens camera setup on the iPhone 7 Plus, I recommend watching my dedicated video on it. It will be linked on your screens now. Now the last notable piece of this report corroborates earlier rumors suggesting that Apple will shift from having both Samsung and TSMC manufacturing the processors in the iPhone 7 to just TSMC. So apparently the iPhone 7 will have one manufacturer for its A10 CPU, which is actually some good news because after the release of the 6S and 6S Plus with their A9 CPU, word started to spread that devices powered by Samsung A9 chips experienced lesser battery life than their counterparts powered by TSMC A9 CPUs. Tests actually showed a bump of about 22% between the Samsung and TSMC iPhone 6S and 6S Plus models. However, Apple later came out and said that in real world situations, it was only a difference of about 2 to 3%. But either way, it appears as though it's enough to make Apple switch to just TSMC. SMC iPhone 7 CPUs. What do you guys think about all of the information discussed in today's video? Let me know down below in the comment section and don't forget to discuss things. I'm really curious to hear your thoughts. Personally, I think absolutely everything mentioned in today's video would be awesome if it actually makes it through to the production iPhone 7, especially the dual audio drivers at the bottom and the dual camera lens assembly that we've been talking about for a while on the iPhone 7 Plus. It would be nice if it was also featured on the iPhone 7, but again, rumors as of now are stating it will be exclusive to the larger 5.5 inch iPhone 7 Plus. Again, let me know what you think down below in the comment section. Also, click the subscribe button below next to my channel name if you have yet to. That way you'll be completely notified every time I release new videos covering the iPhone 7 or even jailbreaking. Also, if you want to be updated more often, just like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter. And until next time, this is ICU signing out. Join the iCrack Your Device community on Patreon to help out the channel and to be featured in videos similar to these top contributors. Click the link on your screens now if you're on desktop or check below.